Hello. In this video, I will be showing you how to be a real 100% Naga nationalist, a patriot for Naga cause. Many Nagas these days tend to talk a lot about Naga nationalism, Naga sovereignty, Naga integration, and about how Nagas ought to become a separate nation state like any other country in the world. But in most cases, these people, and I think you know who you are when I say these people, simply stops there, you see? That is, they talk a lot about unique history, unique culture, about unique tradition, and how Nagas are unique people. No Naga nationalists or patriot or no Naga sympathizers have ever carried out their outspoken belief into action. So, today I will illustrate to you, my dear viewers, or as Indian YouTubers like to say, friends, so let me repeat that. So today I will illustrate to you, friends, on how real Naga nationalists look like and how they live. Here we go. A real Naga nationalist will not, I repeat, will not, will not use Indian currency or Indian money or what we call rupees, will not have an account in any of the Indian owned banks, especially SBI, will not even have a tar card and pen card, will not own or drive Indian-made vehicles or two-wheelers, will not even use or apply on Indian-made roads. A real Naga nationalist will not write and will not even attempt, attempt to write civil service exams such as NPSC or UPSC, among many others. A real Naga nationalist will not try to secure state or central government jobs will not apply for central or state government schemes, will not have a voter's ID and even voluntarily give up their right to vote. A real Naga nationalist will not send their children to schools since the syllabus is made by Indians and state government because for a Naga nationalist, even the state of Nagaland is a sellout and the betrayal to the Naga cause. So, a real Naga nationalist will not use Indian cell phone and digital DV companies, will not eat Indian food, will not buy Indian-owned shops and vegetable vendors. In other words, a real Naga nationalist will not buy anything Indian or made in India or make in India. In other words, as you can see, a real Naga nationalist would look something like this. Yeah, yes, this is what freedom looks like. Or this is what Naga sovereignty, Naga integration, unique history and unique people look like. What you see in front of you, friends, is a real 100% Naga nationalist. The question now is, what have you done for Naga nationalism? Thank you. See you next time.